In this video, I'm going to show you how to detect objects in an image. For example, here you can see a detected face. The first thing that you want to do is to call the face to text example using the cascade argument. So you have to add this line here, cascade, and then you have to include the specific place where the cascade that you want to use is. And then finally, the image that you want to, to use to detect. So what is this specific cascade that I'm talking about? It's basically a file that represents an object. So OpenCV comes with many different already trained files that represent objects. For example, you can see here an eye, frontal face, full body or lower body, mouth, nose, etc. So all of these examples are inside user local share OpenCV hard cascades, or maybe at some different directory that you have installed. But if you have followed the installation, the regular installation, you should have them here. So these are pre-trained files for detecting objects, and we can just use them. So right now, I was using the frontal face default, this file. So it's used for detecting faces, frontal faces. So let's see it again, and we can see that it works very well. Also, we can use this, this example to detect nested cascades. That means we can use it to detect objects inside another object. So for example, let's run this with that option. And here you can have the option nest cascade. And it's the same thing. You just put here the path of the file that you want to use. So in this case, I'm using as a cascade frontal face and then as a nest cascade, the eye. So I'm using this file as the main cascade and this file as the nest cascade. So I want to detect a face and inside that face, I want to detect eyes. So let's see how it looks. And as you could imagine, it detected both eyes inside the face. So let's see a little bit about the code of this. And most of the code of this example is for just dealing with the input of the image and the options. But the important part is here in the detect and draw function. So basically, you need to give the function the image, your main cascade, and the nest cascade optionally. And also a scale optionally, which is basically if you have a large image, you can add, for example, a scale as two, and the image will be half. Okay, so basically you have here a vector of rectangles, which are the faces, the detected faces that the output of the algorithm will be. And then you have, basically you have the original image, you convert it to grayscale, that grayscale you resize it into the smaller image. If you use the scale option, it will be resized into a small image. And then they equalize the histogram. So basically you have a nice contrast and a good image to search for patterns. Okay, so then this is the important line. In the cascade, you call the detect multiscale, which is basically the algorithm for running detection. And you give the image and you just pass the faces here. And in here, you will have the detected faces. Here you have some options. For example, here you can specify the minimum size of a face. So if you increase that, you, the speed will be faster because you have to search for a smaller number of windows, but you will miss small faces. So if you decrease that, you will actually detect smaller faces, but you will have to look for many, many more windows. So it will be a lot slower. So then after the detection, for every face detected, they basically print it into the image, and then if you have a nest cascade inside that uh, circle, inside that specific face detected, it detects, using the nest cascade, it detects the um, objects inside that specific object we already detected. And finally, it just draws the um, nested objects. And that's it. That's everything that you need to know to detect your own objects. So you can use uh, different images and different cascades or nest cascades. And you can detect, for example, full body, lower body, left eye, the mouth, or the profile faces, or anything that you have here 
in the already trained examples, or even if you train something yourself, as long as you have one of these files, you can detect that object.